Hi everyone, this is Manny with the LARP.com crew, and today I have the pleasure of interviewing Julie DeSantos. Hey Julie. Hello. And how are you doing? I'm doing good. Great. So Julie, as you know from previous interviews, LARP.com is conducting this interview today to get the true story of the LARPer. So today we're going to hear some of your story uh, regarding Dreamscape and the last online event you attended. Okay. So Julie, what did you have to do to get started with Dreamscape? Um, well, I heard about them on LARP.com and they were having a contest for how you were keeping LARP alive during the quarantine. And I love Dungeons and Dragons, so for one of the games I was playing, I put on a LARP cloak with hood that I have, and had my husband take a picture of me playing, and I sent that into the contest, and they chose me as their winner, which was awesome. So tell us a little bit about your character concept inspirations uh, regarding this last event. Uh, well, they had a lot of like unique uh, character choices. So it was kind of hard to pick character, but um, one of them that they had was a Gorgon. So, and my hair was always a mess. And so my dad used to call me Medusa. And I just thought that it would be cool to kind of base a character on that. So I, uh, I picked Medusa as my character and she's a Gorgon. And it also fit because then I could wear sunglasses during the actual LARP and kind of like hide if I need to hide, if I get like anxious about being, you know, too social, so. Got it. Did you have any questions regarding making your character for the Dreamscape event? And if so, how did you get them answered? Um, I did have a lot of questions. Um, this was only the second LARP that I did and it was the first digital LARP that I've ever done. Um, so I asked my, you know, my friends a lot of questions about how to make the character and everything. And Dreamscape has the, the rule book and the character creation stuff online. So that was really helpful. And then the team there was really awesome. And an hour before the game opened, they opened up the chat and let us, you know, let, let the players ask any questions about characters or how the game was going to be played. So they were really helpful with stuff like that. Yeah, I definitely agree. I had a little bit of confusion on where to start out, and the chat was up and running before game, and there was people in there ready to assist, so that was that made it great. Yep. So what would you say the game was like? It was awesome. You know, it. I just got to hang out with my friends and meet new people, and everyone was just really fun. The story was interesting. The game kept, you know, kept moving. It had, you know, the role playing and the action and the combat, so it just had a little bit of everything. So it was amazing. And were there any highlights that you can remember from this game? Uh, honestly, the whole thing was kind of a highlight because, you know, I got to hang out with my friends during the quarantine and try something new and kind of meet more people that accept accepted me and kind of fit my tribe, I guess. That's what it's all about. Yeah. Now, would you say that you would be apt to play again? Uh, definitely. And playing online, it just made me want to go to the, you know, the live event even more. And I'm looking forward to it even more than I was before. Same here. Now, is there anything else that you'd like to share about the Dreamscape event with others? Um, I just wanted to thank Dreamscape for choosing me as the winner and tell anybody who's hesitant about trying something new, you know, if it's LARP or really anything else in life to don't be scared to, to try it. Um, I'm coming to the hobby older and I know nothing really about LARPing and everyone has just been so awesome. And I've met so many amazing, wonderful people and it's just, it's just worth it. Well, guys, I want to thank Julie um, and shout out to Dreamscape Crew. If you haven't already done so, please check us out on LARP.com. And you can also check out the Dreamscape page um, and you can see 
anything regarding the game that you'd like to, um, upcoming events, info, where to sign up. So, guys, thank you very much. Thank you, Julie, again. I appreciate you. And thank you, Lark, and thank you, Dreamscape. Can't wait to see everybody. Take care. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye.